Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about router iOS CLI modes. CLI is the main interface where we will interact with Cisco iOS devices. From here we can do things such as monitoring device status or changing configuration. Cisco has divided its CLI into several different modes. Understanding Cisco CLI modes is essential as each of these modes serve a different purpose and has its own set of commands. The CLI modes are as follows. First one is the setup mode. Second one is the command mode which include user mode, privilege mode and configuration mode. The last one is the Roman mode. When we power on the iOS operated device, it loads the functional iOS and then looks for the device configuration. If it does not find a valid configuration, it places the user in the mode known as setup mode. This mode allows the user to configure the initial device configuration. This mode presents a text-based wizard that asks questions about initial settings in the sequence. Based on the answers provided by the user, the iOS automatically builds the initial configuration. Once the initial configuration is done or if the configuration is already present in the router, a user will end up directly into the next mode that is the user mode. The user mode is the default mode for the CLI. This is the first mode a user has access to after logging into the router. This is the prompt you are placed in when you access the device using the console cable or uh, through telnet or SSH from any other node. No matter how a user accesses the iOS, the iOS always places the user in this mode. This mode is the least privileged mode in the iOS. So the next mode is the privilege mode. As the name suggests, this mode includes privilege or powerful commands. This mode allows users to view, erase or save device configuration. This mode allows users to take backup of the current device configuration or to restore the configuration from the backup. It allows to install a new iOS image file or to debug or troubleshoot the device or to restart or reload the device. From privilege mode, you can access all the configuration, command mode and their sub modes. Configuration mode is where the real configurations are done. As the name suggests, the mode include the command that are used to configure the device. A user can modify the device configuration or running system configuration only from the configuration mode. Configuration mode has various sub modes, starting with global configuration mode. In this mode, you can make global changes to the device you are configuring, such as configure a new host name, creating a user account, set up a password or configure authentication, etc. The commands in the global configuration mode usually apply to the features that affect the system as a whole, hence the name global. From global configuration mode, you can access various sub modes such as interface configuration mode. This mode will be accessed to configure an interface on your device. The interface mode contains commands relevant to the interface being configured. The next mode is the router configuration mode. In this mode, you can configure an IP routing protocol. So you can say it is a routing protocol configuration mode. Then we have line configuration mode. This In this mode commands, line configuration mode command allow you to configure the settings of VTY port. This virtual port allows telnet or SSH access to the device. The last mode is the Roman mode. To understand this mode, we need to go back to the boot up process. During the boot up process, the iOS image file is loaded from the flash into the RAM. If the iOS image file is missing or corrupt, if it fails to load the iOS, the device automatically enters the mode known as Roman mode. This mode allows the user to troubleshoot the iOS. In this mode, the user can select a different iOS image file to boot the device or load a new iOS image file from the TFTP server. You can manually enter in this mode for diagnostic purpose. This mode is also used for password recovery procedure. That's it for today. In the next video, we'll log in into the router and go through each of these modes. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share your comments. Thank you.